Today, we're gonna to look at what makes for great fashion in your online dating profiles. I'm gonna review some examples of what I think makes for great fashion in real Tinder photos. And I will explain why I rate the fashion in these pictures so much and what you can learn from them. My hope is this will be a critical video for any of you to watch and rewatch if you are planning a photo shoot. It's becoming more and more popular, guys you know, taking their online presentation seriously. And if you have one of these photo shoots coming up and you're wondering what to wear for each particular shot you're gonna do, I hope this video can serve as some level of guide for you. So whatever app you're using, Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, let's take that to the absolute next level. Welcome to the channel. My name is Cam. I help guys optimize their style for the best dating results, the, whatever they're looking for. I did it for myself back in the day, had that glow up. And then I help guys like Ravi here and guys like Corky here and nail down their looks that would get them the girls they're looking for. My original idea for this was to go through like Tinder web app and like, you know, rate the fashion of guys that we see on the random, but that felt a little bit weird. I don't really like doing that when, you know, I haven't got permission to use, you know, those images. So instead I asked my friend Joe, who is a online dating photographer and online dating photographer even. And he allowed me to use his Instagram where he promotes his work as you know, promotional material. So we're going to look through some of his best work on his Instagram. I am still going to black out eyes though, for the sake of the guys that are being shown on this, even though, you know, I have permission. So what am I looking for when it comes to the fashion in these photos? Well, first of all, you know, good style practice is going to be something I'll point out. So good color combination. The fit is on point with all the items they're wearing. They also use different like fits and style of fits in good ways. So it's similar with color combinations. You can combine fits for good fashion. Then also are they wearing accessories and have they done the right selection of pieces? Does the whole like, overall vibe of the outfit to match the vibe they're going for, the overall style they're going for. All of that stuff is like technical style stuff. Then I'm also gonna talk very much about the vibe they're giving off and creating in the photo and is the fashion helping that? So I wanna jump into the photos and talk about vibe, getting the vibe of your fashion, the same as the vibe of the photo you're trying to take. So let's look at the first one. The fashion is a big part of this photo here and it's super coherent and it super aids what they're trying to say with the photo. So there's obviously a musician with his guitar and they're in front of a music venue and everything about his style is, you know, helping with the vibe of telling the same story as the rest of the photo. This is where you get fashion correct with these photo shoots. You pick the outfits that best translate into the photo you're trying to take. I think that's a really important point. And Joe would tell you the same if you go and see his channel. He talks about trying to tell a story with your photos. They're trying to, you know, it's trying to convey who you are in about six photos. If you nail it like this, you're doing a really good job. The next one in brief is basically the same photo, but you know, in a different style. So we have here, it's not like the sort of style that I would teach to guys. And it's not the sort of style I'd necessarily recommend off the bat, but it really fits coherently into the photo that they're making here. So it's more of a country Western vibe. The guy's wearing a more rugged, rustic look and he's got the acoustic guitar and he sat in there, sat in what looks like a cool kind of bar place playing a guitar. And it suits, again, the fashion works in this picture with what they're trying to say. Moving on, I wanted to select some shirt options. Guys seem to think that they need to go with a button shirt to a Tinder photo shoot. So I'm gonna show you how to do this properly. This guy's picked a really nice open collar option with the stripes. The colors really suit his complexion and he's thrown on some light accessories around it. They've also taken the shot in like a casual bar setting it looks like and that shot, this shirt and this combo and everything really suits the vibe of the setting that they've taken the shot in as well. You know, like you've gone out for a warm evening, you've worn your open collar shirt, this looks really good. Guy's obviously got his grooming dialed in, nice smile in this photo, yeah. Next photo up with the shirt as well, similar kind of thing, but a bit classier, a bit more formal. I love the color this guy's picked for the shirt as well. I love the gold watch combination with this color. Slight thing I would change is I wouldn't have gone for silver rings. I would have matched the color with the gold and maybe had a gold ring on and maybe he's got too many rings on, I don't know. But overall, I really like the rest of the vibe. It looks like he's either wine tasting maybe, or he's in like a more fancy looking bar than the last shot. So overall, the, you know, the slightly relaxed but more smart looking burgundy shirt really works in this situation. Moving on into way more formal styles and going into more of like a hippie phase looking through these. This guy here really knows how to play the best look for his like natural looks. I've got the black block over his eyes, but he kind of looks like 
the um, Caucasian versions of Jesus or Spanish versions of Jesus that you see. So going with like the the hippie looking shirt and um, very, very relaxed style, got the accessories on as well. If you understand like your look, like the styles that suit you best, that can be a real like asset to have, especially in the photo shoots. Sticking with the more spiritual hippie style of stuff. I really like this one. It's not like necessarily like a great fashion outfit that I'd recommend or anything like that. But I love that he went for this meditation pose and he's got like, the hippie style vest on he's got he's gone barefoot for it it's very much understanding like what he was wearing communicates like the scene that they're trying to set with this photo as well and yeah joe is very good at like setting the scene and like telling a story with his photo shoots i could not include ed as well in here um if you have a great physique there are ways to show it off that aren't necessarily just go topless or do something topless like you can see with ed here he's combined the fact that he wears like a very hippie style with showing off a good physique. I would like do this kind of things with like linen shirts, like open linen shirts are great for this. You know, like any kind of pattern shirts that you have and it kind of looks like you go to the beach and you get like shorts and a pattern shirt or whatever. Whatever style you have, there are gonna be options you can do that are kind of like open shirt. I prefer you do that to like, you know, the mirror or gym, gym mirror shots where you're showing off your abs in the gym. I think these work better personally than doing it like that. Right, we're getting into the streetwear stuff and more my alley. And I really wanted to show this because this guy's wearing a jacket that I featured on the channel in a short like ages ago. And God damn it, I didn't buy it because I'm ginger and you can't really wear orange with ginger like this. But I love this jacket. I said it would look very fuckboy. I'm really glad that someone out there went and got it. And also the overall shot here with like the DJ setup and the hat and the jacket, it really fucking works. Like that fuckboy DJ kind of vibe. It just looks cool, man. This shot just looks really cool. And like the fashion he's wearing really helps that come across. I would probably prefer it if he was actually like at a DJ set playing to a crowd, but this fucking works too. Sticking with street style, this is very similar to an outfit that I fully recommend, like the full black bomber jacket outfit, really like this. I also included this because it's a juxtaposition shot with him eating the crap. He's dressed like super like streetwear, like a bit more edgy with the rings and accessories and you know, all the hat and everything. But he's eating a crap and he's smiling. I talked a lot about getting the vibe of the scenes matched up, but there's something to be said of completely subverting expectations. And I'm gonna show you with my last picture what I mean by that too. So we've got here, you can't fully see this guy's outfit, but he's very much wearing like, you know, still kind of fuckboy look with the hair as well and the pendant and the jacket he's wearing, but he's playing piano. And this comes from like an old dating coach that we all used to follow who talked about how good juxtaposition can be, subverting the expectations. Presenting yourself like a player, like a, like a, you know, a cool fuck boy, but also having this like soft side, like you're creative, you can play piano like in this shot. That works really well for some reason on online dating. So I fully recommend, do do the coherent vibe stuff that I talked about, but you also potentially go for a full on contrast shot that's basically there to look, to subvert expectations and look really cool. Big thanks to Joe for letting me use his Instagram to do this video. If you're interested in getting a photo shoot for your online dating, then definitely check out Joe's stuff. He's an incredibly talented photographer and he will walk you through the whole process to get the best profile for you. If you need any help with your fashion, especially for optimizing your results for dating, then check out the links to my stuff as well below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something. Peace out till next time.